morning everybody it's Tom Christie back in the painting studio and I'm gonna put a short video together on the painting of this black duck Drake's head so the head only uh, I do have longer length full-length video on the painting of this bird on my website at TomChristieArt.com those are for sale this is free and I thought it might be helpful uh, to those of you tackling a black duck decoy, I'd show you at least one way to paint the head of a drake. Hope it's helpful. For the base color of the head, we're going to use, uh, start with a white gesso, darken that with um, maybe 10% raw umber, and then warm it up a little with uh, raw sienna, maybe another 10% to give a nice buff color and uh, normally for heads I use a smaller brush so that I have more control and this is a small filbert and we're just gonna paint the entire head including the crown at this point this buff color leave the Leave the bill uncolored at this point. This shows the uh, completed base coat on the head. And that took two coats to get full coverage. And uh, now I'm going to mask off everything except the head so that we can spray the crown. Now you can do the crown with a, a brush and blend that transition line between dark and light. Uh, I'm this time I'm going to use uh, an airbrush and show you how I do it. I'm using an Iwata Revolution CR airbrush um, with chroma burnt umber and just darkening the crown on this. You can also use Josanya burnt umber on this color. Here's a view after the masking has been removed and the head and the crown has been darkened with burn umber. Okay, I wanna take some of the value that uh, I used on the face and a sharp detail brush and begin softening this transition between the neck and the breast by pulling some feather indications across that light and dark margin. Just continuing the same process around the other side of the neck and notice how these directionally are pulling because of the preening twist of the neck pull back in this direction. And in similar fashion, I'm going to go back across that line with uh, burnt uh, chroma burnt umber and pull some lines, some darker markings up into the neck. I'm going to start the uh, face painting with chroma chestnut. It's kind of a lighter brown value. And I'm using a brush that is I've had for a long time. As the point wears out on a brush, it really becomes more valuable as uh, these for face ticks because you don't want a a very narrow line. And I'm going to go in groupings of two, three, and four, starting here and headed back. And always kind of keep a V configuration in mind as you're working your way back. And I try to go for a little bit of a teardrop shape on these markings. Some of these markings are going to be closer together, some are farther apart, but you're trying to get a random look 
but at the same time some symmetry, if that makes sense. Since this is a relatively slow process, I'm going to take a series of shots as this develops so that you can see the patterns I'm using and, and as it progresses. A little farther along on the face ticks. I am mixing a very slight amount of the face value in with the chestnut and then varying that mix a little bit just so there's some variation in the intensity of these markings and so that they're not all just one value. Continue to follow the contours of the neck in the way it's twisted around to carry these markings around the back and towards uh, the back of the bird. Gone under the neck, which is difficult on a preening bird to get those markings under there and have wrapped around the other side. Now I'm starting at the uh, face on the other side and we'll bring these down and match up with this curvature. Okay, I've finished the first pass of face ticks. You can see how the markings kind of pull in and follow the curvature of the neck. And next I want to work on the crown with some carbon black and continue these ticks up and over the crown. Using chroma burnt umber, with carbon black. I'm going to tie into these ticks and continue it up and into the crown. I'm going to make these a little longer, larger. Here's the first pass on the uh, darker crown markings. You can see they kind of wrap around to the back and they fade out as they get closer to the face. Putting a very thin wash of raw umber, that's Josanya raw umber, on the head of the black duck, just to darken things slightly, darken the transition between the neck and the breast, and just tone down and tie things together a little bit. Now I'm going to go with uh, some chroma taupe and pull a few lighter streaks from the light face into the darker crown. Throughout the crown, this uh, if you look at a black duck, there is, there are light markings mixed in with the dark on the crown. And this also will give us more depth to the appearance of the crown rather than just the two colors side by side. So I'll do that for the rest of the crown and then come back a quick shot of the crown after the taupe has been laced in there between the uh, the dark carbon black and burnt umber markings and then in the back kind of pulled in to finish the look of that turned neck
Now I want to darken the eye stripe and I'm going to start with um, the chroma chestnut. Start at the corner of the eye. That's too wet so I need to dry it off a bit and scrub an indication of the eye, darker eye stripe. and blend that out a little. You can see that. And then come back with uh, burnt umber. This is Josania because it's a little thicker. And darken that stripe further. Just using this chisel scrubber again. I'm going to darken that right up to the bill. And I'm going to keep working this until I'm satisfied with it. It gets very dark close to the eye. Then I'll come back and show you the finish eye stripe. Once I have the eye stripe scrubbed in. I'm going to go back with a little carbon black and a detail brush and reinforce these markings. To put some more clarity and detail in the eye stripe and tie it into the surrounding facial markings. as a final bit of detail and to add some depth to the markings of the face I'm going to go in and add some lighter value ticks between the darker ticks kind of a meticulous process I'll go ahead and finish that and then come back and show you this side versus the other side that hasn't been done. Here's a shot of the face with the lighter ticks added. and I just wanted to compare that to the opposite side that I haven't done yet. Still representative of a black duck, but not quite as much depth or life in this side as there is with the lighter ticks added. I masked off the bill and I'm using a combination of um, Josanya Yellow Oxide and Yellow Deep and spraying multiple coats on the bill. To get good coverage, Now I want to warm the sides of the bill up a little bit with uh, just a real light wash of gold oxide. Just like that. So I've mixed up uh, Joe Sonia Brilliant Green with raw sienna to make an olive color and I'm just going to Hit the tip of the bill. With that color combination, that's about all I want on the tip of the bill. Here's a quick shot of the bill unmasked. You can see the nice mellow yellow with that subtle orange highlight to give it a little life. The green olive green tip on the bill and now I'll go in and add the uh, black accents to the bill. Using a Josania Carbon Black and very carefully 
put the nostrils in with a detail brush. And then also put the nail black. Using carbon black, just going along the edge of the bill here. Darken that down to the rictus. And then I'll come back with a scrubber once this is dry and soften this transition line between the two. Using a little carbon black and a stiff scrubber, I'm just going to soften that line a little bit by scrubbing back and forth along the margin between the yellow and the black against the face. Just use a little carbon black in the scrubber and very softly and faintly put a little color on the notch there. As a final bill detail, we want to have this feather, some portions of this feather going up and over the bill from preening. So not a lot, just a touch. The bill is masked off and I use deft semi-gloss to give that a sheen. All right, that was a quick video, but hopefully it'll be helpful to those of you just starting out and wanting to tackle a black duck drake. Until next time, Tom Christie signing out. Good carving, good painting to you.